A group of foster parents say the state's child welfare system is putting children's safety at risk. Those moms say the foster system is in dire need of reform. They took their concerns to the state house today and spoke to Call Sick Investigates Kara Kenny about what they believe needs to be fixed. About 20 foster parents came to the state house Tuesday to meet with state lawmakers. They handed over this laundry list of concerns about the child welfare system. Christy Cundiff is leading foster parents in a fight for reform. She's the administrator of the Indiana Foster and Adoptive Parent Group, which has nearly 5,000 members. Foster parents say the Indiana Department of Child Services is plagued with staff turnover and inconsistencies with how cases are handled. Other concerns are that the rights of biological parents are put before the children's safety. Foster parents we spoke with say cases drag on and on. Plus, many people who work with children have no training in car seat safety. There's definitely a need for it, and I just want to push foster parents, DCS employees, visit supervisors, therapists, anyone who's going to be transporting a child should have some sort of proper training. We do have foster families that have had children four and five and six years that we're just they're just waiting. They don't know if they're in reunification, which is pretty much the biggest part of the, the, the problem, or if they're going to be the children are going to be up for adoption and they're going to be allowed to adopt them. And these cases just linger on and on and on. And we're trying to put a stop um, to help the children with that so that they can have permanency in their life. The group is also concerned foster parents who work are often getting no help from the state with child care expenses. The foster parents say they want to help find solutions rather than just pointing out problems. Foster parents hope their meeting today will result in legislation for the upcoming session. Reporting from the State House, Kara Kenny, RTV6. Senator Grooms tells Call 6 he will pass along the concerns to the Department of Child Services and adds the state has already boosted funding for additional caseworkers in Indiana. We reached out to DCS for their response as well.